Hey what's up guys, it is Midget HD here. As you can see this is a Varig Brazil MD11 and this was part of um, JC Wing's Ju July releases. So yeah, well I'll show you around the box while I'm doing that. I have a lot of information to tell you about this aircraft um, which I gathered from some of the photos that they put up on their Facebook page and, um, and also to tell you that JC Wing's if you didn't already know, they have, um, they finally have an online store, but that is through their Facebook. So if you want to buy anything from them directly, you can um, use their Facebook page and click on the store button. So, well, I read off my bit of paper from some of the stuff I gathered. Um, I'll show you around the box. Okay, let's start. <clears throat> um... So, anyway, um, uh, yeah, what am I looking at? Oh, yeah, this particular aircraft, um, I should say, uh, started off as part of Garuda Indonesia, and then it was, and then it went to Varig in 1997 uh, to 2003, um, and after that went to Wells Fargo Bank Northwest, and then went to FedEx. And I, I don't think it's retired yet. Um, I'm not, not quite sure. Um, Varig themselves only have 737s left after they went. They didn't go bankrupt as such. They just had a lot of financial issues. So they're only operating domestically. Um, the MT-11 itself is a medium to long range wide body. Uh, what else can I tell you? Um, I don't think I can tell you much else until we, till I show you around the aircraft. Because a lot of it's not going to make sense until I show you certain parts of the aircraft. Anyway, I will just unbox this and show you inside the box. Sorry about that crappy intro. Still got a soul for it. <clears throat> okay. There we have it. There's the model. And then we have the stand. I'll show you that in a bit. And then we have air replacement. Okay. So I'll take this out of the box and then I'll come back to you guys. Okay, so it's out the box. Um, I'll just show you the gears. You can't really see them in there um, that well because they've really, yeah. So there's four gear doors, um, which you might say is a little bit odd for an aircraft this size, because if I compare it to the Aeroflot Triple Seven, you can see oh, that's not a good example, is it? Um, the Aeroflot is a lot bigger but at the time this was one of the um, one of the bigger aircraft okay um, I'll just show you the stand as well and the go Varig MD11 scale 1 200 um, let's see if McDonald Douglas and small writing small um, engraving there um, there's the film on the the blue film which protects the metal back, I'll just take that off. Show you guys the shiny back. And these these stands come assembled unlike Gemini's, which isn't too much of a it, it doesn't doesn't really matter, but <clears throat> if they already come assembled, that means it's um I find it a lot easier. There's the padding on the top of the um, stand. So it doesn't scratch your model. Anyway, let's get to showing you around the aircraft. If I zoom in here, you can see some of the markings on the nose of the aircraft. There we have the cockpit and the window wipers. The window wipers are difficult to see. Okay, it's not, it doesn't matter. Anyway, um, 
stupid tripod. I've had troubles with this recently. And you have MD11 Star Alliance logo. As you know, Star Alliance, they're, um, they're part of a group of 28 airlines recently added was the Air India. Um, Varig isn't, I don't, I don't know if they're in it anymore. At the time they were in it when, uh, with this aircraft, but, um, because, because they're happenings back in 2005, they really, um, had to downgrade. And you see the gears with the part of the registration on the bottom, on the nose gear door, uh, PP. And the gears with this one don't, don't turn, so you can't turn it in the direction you want when it's on the tarmac. Uh, you can see there, the metal gears, you can take them off and just, there's the, there's the hole. There's the hole. And then you can just put them back on very easily. Now you see Varig Brazil. And while we're here at this part, uh, you can see the badges there, CBD, 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 CBF. Um, those are all the Brazilian uh, football team. Um, that's their emblem. And CBF, uh, CB, CBF, I know what it means, but CBD means, um, okay, wait, I've lost it, yeah, Confederação Brasilia, oh, Brasileira de Desportos, which means in Brazilian, uh, Brazilian Sports Confederation, which, they, which was, yeah, was founded in 1914. And then they, um, CBF was the, was the time, was the fourth, when they won their fourth, um, World Cup title, well, yeah, World Cup title, uh, their badge was, had CBF on it, and that means Confederacao, 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 Brasileira de Football, excuse my Portuguese, I'm not, not fluent in Portuguese at all, um, it means Brazilian Football Federation. All right here, you can see this writing here. That basically, that says, um, Transport, Transportadora Oficial de Salasau Brasileira de Futebol, which basically means official carrier of the Brazilian national football team. Sorry, it's taking a while just to get through that. Okay, and... Because this is the first MD-11 to come out 1-200 scale in die-cast, um, these engines don't look all too familiar at all. Um, let's see if they spin. Oops, I can't really show you that my thumb's in the way. Yeah, there we go, they spin. And this one, the other one, you can't really see, but it spins as well. These engines are... Now... They are, for this MD-11, uh, General Electric CF6-80C201F engines. And these um, are the three different types of engines. They are Pratt & Whitney and some other one, some other one I'm not sure of. Um, they are the three different types of engines they had for MD-11. These were the most powerful. They produced the most... Um, Pound force, I think it was. I think pounds per. It produced the most kilonewtons. Kilonewtons. That's a better way to say it. And then you see the winglets. They're almost like the split scimitar winglets on the new seven on the on the seven three sevens. The new winglets, or like the um, A three twenties, but not quite because they have. Oops. Super tripod. Uh, they have a full on like a seven four seven style, and then they have like a little thing here. Um, it really distinguishes the aircraft. There's the red navigation light. And then Varig would usually just have a white a white body. Um, as you can see, it's not. It's got green, yellow, and blue, which are the colours of the Brazil Brazilian football team. And you can see these stars here. See, it leads up to leads up to their logo, which is that star there. Um, I'm just going to give you little bit of an insight into what these mean so oh, come on focus for me there we go 1958 
what's significant about 1958? Well, um, 1958 was the World Cup in Sweden, and Brazil beat Sweden in the final. And then you see the next one, 1962, was the, that World Cup was played in Chile, and they beat Czechoslovakia in the final. Because um, when I say they, I, I of course, of course I mean Brazil. Um, 1970, they played in Mexico and they beat Italy in the final. 1994, which is there on the uh, third engine, I think it's third, or it could be second, uh, depending on how they work it out. Uh, 1994, that was played in the USA. Uh, they beat Italy in the final. <coughs> final. Brazil, if you know, if you're, well, I'm, I'm kind of a sporty guy, um, if you would know, they had won five World Cups, the reason there's not five on here, five stars on here, which, I mean, this could represent the fifth World Cup they're going to win, but they had already, they already won one, this livery was on this aircraft between 1998 and 2002, or in the start of 2002, and... Later that year, in 2002, um, the World Cup was held in South Korea and Japan, with the final being held in Tokyo, I'm pretty sure. Uh, and they beat Germany in the final. So they had won five World Cups, but uh, they this wasn't updated for... Well, they didn't keep this delivery even for the 2002 World Cup, so there you go. Here's the registration, PP, VPP, Papa, Papa. Victor Papa Papa. And then coming along there's the one the the uh, the third engine and there's the logo with the Papa registration on top of the tail PP. Now I'll just bring it around the side. Sorry for my bag uh, sort of camera skills today. This tripod's not really Wanting to do much. And there's the cockpit, MD-11, Star Alliance logo. There's part of the registration on the uh, nose gear door. Oh, what's wrong here? But it's starting to come off the wheel. Here we go, okay. And there's the, uh, the, uh, the um, emblems of the Brazilian team through the years they've had. Um, CBF is, which I should have mentioned, is the current uh, emblem with this with the same blue colors. There's the Varig Brazil, and there's the um, official carry of the Brazilian national football team. And there's the uh, GE engine. And there's the the um, the wing. The end of the wing. There's the wingtip. Um, pretty famous wingtip. Uh, if I can get to focus a little bit, there's the. Green navigation light on the end, and then come across there. You see the stars of the first four times they won the World Cup. Registration. There's the um, cargo door in between the two stars there, 1962 and 1958. And there's the red cabin door. Come up to the tail. There you go. And I show you. I should have showed you the APU. That's a good angle right there. I like the back of it. Okay, I'll just show you, um, zoom it out here, and I will show you the bottom of the aircraft. There's the nose gear and the nose gear door. Just let me sort of adjust my camera a bit. There we go. Okay, um, there's a hole for the sand, so you can see it's got um, A3. 40, 200 and 300 style um, gears. This one's a little tilted. I'll fix that later. So yeah, they're, they're magnetic. Just put that in. Um, so yeah, A340, 300 and 200 style because of the single wheel in the middle and the two. Well, no, two wheels in the middle and then the four on each side. And there's the G engines and there's the wing. Part of the registration PP and then the dash because the rest of the registration is over on this side. So I'll give you a better look. I'll just go on close in there. There you go. 
It's the little winglets. There's a beacon light. Uh, oh, I didn't really see this. It's difficult to see, but by the gear, there's an, there's an antenna there. And this rubber's coming off the wheel, which is kind of annoying. I don't know why. Uh, wheels turn easily. Uh, there's some markings down the back of the aircraft. Now I'll show you the top. And there's a beacon light there, and here you go. I'll show you on the engine. See, they've got the um, air deflector on on each side, as you can see, and then all the markings on top of the wing. There you go. There's part of the registration there, and there. <clears throat> okay. I'll just show you angles of the aircraft Get closer do the wheels tilt uh, yes they do okay that's good and I'm really annoyed starting to get annoyed about this ah uh, Funky about the rubber coming off the wheel. Yeah. Anyway, um, I didn't show you there. There's an antenna on top there. I didn't couldn't really see it because it's painted blue. Um, and there. Okay, so I'll put it on the stand. Give you guys a good look of it on the stand. Okay. Well, it seems that when it's on the stand, it's pushing against the um. That middle gear there, sort of pushing it back. So you just got to be careful you don't break that. Okay, so that's an awesome angle right there. Or with the MD11 almost going straight up like that. That's really nice. Okay, so this is probably about it. This is probably one of my longer ones because of all the information I had to share. Um, so, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, this is probably the model I've been wanting the most out of out of the July releases for any um, manufacturer, uh, mainly because it is an MD11. Um, don't have anything else to say. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Please like the video, share it. I wanna, you know, get more get more views because m more views I have, more subscribers I have. Please subscribe as well. Um, it just helps out, makes me bring you more content and um, I love to bring you guys content so please share it with your friends your family anybody and this is the Varag MD11 so I'll see you guys later